Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I got a video response from Napa Hiker where he was showing what he does with these heat canisters about spreading the wicks to make the flame bigger. Hopefully it would make the water boil faster. So I thought maybe I'd try that today in the all-in-one stove from Intense Outdoor Gear. Here's a picture of what the wick looked like before. It was about five-eighths of an inch high. This is a close-up picture of what this wick looks like now. It's still about five-eighths of an inch tall, but I've spread out the, uh, the wick to make for a larger flame. I'm not sure how high up I can pull this to spread it out that the wick won't be in the bottom of the, in the fuel. So let's light this. Get it going. Okay, I think you can see it there. Put the all-in-one stove on. I've got two cups of water here now sitting at 60 degrees. In the past tests, it took upwards of 24 minutes, 23 minutes for this to come to a boil. Oops, almost forgot that. So let's see where this goes. We're now three minutes into the test and the temperature is up to 92 degrees. I think you can see it's a much wider flame than what there was before, but I don't know if this is heating up that much faster. Maybe I had to split up the wick and spread it out even more, but let's see where this goes. The test is now at 16 minutes and the temperature is only up to 189. Looks like the flame is, is getting a little bit smaller. I don't think this canister can be running out of fuel already. It's only, well, it's 20, 20, 20, 50. It's supposed to be a two hour canister. There should still be plenty left in here. I don't know if maybe the wick is starting to fall out of the fuel because I pulled it out some. I'm going to have to buy a new can of this stuff, cut it open, and see just how much fluid. There we have 211. 212 at 2009. Hmm. Not so good there. Let me put this out. putting it out this way to try to cut down on the fumes. I don't know. Now I made the wick much wider than what it was before. I showed you on the earlier pictures. But this was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 20 minutes and 9 seconds. Whereas before um, I got the first test was 23 minutes 26 seconds and the second one was 24 seconds thir or 24 minutes 13 seconds with the wick about 5 8 of an inch tall or that's about 1.5 centimeters or is 1.5 centimeters ah, it's just about empty there's hardly anything in there that's why it was dying down but it should I think what we'll have to do is get a new can of this stuff and actually open it up, empty it out, and see how much fuel there is in here. This is supposed to be a two-hour can, and I didn't even get an hour, 20, 20, 20, just a little more than an hour out of this can. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's what I'll have to do, get a couple more cans of this stuff open it up see how much fuel is actually in there what I'll do is I'll do a weight on this once it's cooled and I'll put how much as far as weight I used in the previous test it was 14.3 grams of fuel or about 0.51 ounces that's weight not 
uh, volume. Okay, so I thank Nampa Hiker for his uh, response. This should be a good idea, but it helps to have fuel. That's why the flames were dying down. I did another camera shot showing you how small they were getting compared to earlier, but then my battery died on that camera, darn it. I don't know if the, the film will be there. I'll have to check. But I thank Napa Hiker for his response. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.